Hi, YouTube. This is Jen. Um, um, I want to do a video about these uh, lip balms I bought. I bought them a while back. I haven't tried all the flavors yet, so I can't speak for all of them yet. So this is kind of like a initial video of them. These lip balms have kind of naughty names. So this video is probably going to get flagged or something. I'm not a partner, so I'm not worried about it. But uh, if you're easily offended, you can stop the video at any time. Um, yeah. The name of these lip balm are called Pussy Pucker Pots. I got them on eBay. But I believe you can find them in... Uh, you probably can find them in some health food stores and some uh, uh, adult novelty stores because the names are naughty. Or if you have a store in your town that sells um, gay and lesbian merchandise, you might be able to find them there. Um, I'm not going to tell you the city I live in, but I've seen on their website that they sell these that you can find these at Pride and Joy in Northampton, which isn't too far from me. But um, I was able to find all of them on eBay. And I ended up paying 20-something dollars, including the shipping. But I got every flavor they make. Um, so I took a chance. I didn't know if I was how much I was going to like them or whatever. They smell really good. And they definitely smell like... A hint at least a little bit of what they're supposed to smell what they're supposed to smell like this one is called strawberry snatch I know so naughty right I think the company that makes these uh, is owned by uh, lesbian women I could be mistaken and if I am I am sorry to the ones that, the people who made this but that's the impression I got and uh, the strawberry one smells really good, but it doesn't smell just like strawberry. Like, it smells like strawberry and lip balm, if that makes sense. It smells like both together. Um, they're made in Portland, Oregon. They have a website. I'll put in, I'll put the link in the sidebar. I'm not sure what it's on, but uh, the ingredients... They're, they're vegan, by the way. Of course, they're vegan. Um... Ingredients, can, candela, candelia wax, sweet almond oil, flavor oils, vitamin E, and that's it. So they're very natural. And uh, this one, yeah. I'm going to tell you the names of all of them and which ones I've tried. This one is Strawberry Snatch. I think there's 12 in all. This one I... Uh, I, I have opened this one. This is Clitoris Citrus. They all look the same inside the pot. There's no color at all to the, any of them. All look the same inside the pot. But don't need no mango. That's probably one of the more innocent names. Shaved Peach. Haven't tried that one yet. Nice melons. Another one of the uh, more innocent names. Plain old prude. Or plain old prude. Muffberry. Chocolate nipple ripple. I've tried this one too. This one does not smell like chocolate at all. That's my only complaint with this one. I don't really smell any chocolate scent at all. Areola apricot. Lemon labia. Vanilla vulva. And 
Tata Tangerine. The ones I've tried are Chocolate Nipple Ripple, Clitoris Citrus, and Strawberry Snatch. And, um, yeah. These are the ones I've tried. Uh, first reaction to these is they have kind of a strange feel and, uh, kind of unusual taste when you put them on. It gets them, it gets them getting used to. If you're used to something that has a high concentration of candelia wax and you like it, um, then these will probably be good for you. Um... I don't think I'm really used to things that have a lot of that Candelia wax in it because it gives it a different flavor. Um, the packaging is adorable. They are metal tins, very sturdy, and they have kitties on them, of course. And this kitty on the back too with the ingredients label is. So the packaging is adorable. Um, overall, first sniff, they smell pretty good, and, uh, they're very moisturizing. I'm just not really that used to, um, the flavor. It's probably the Can Candelia wax. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but, uh, they're very moisturizing. I really like to use them before bed. Also, another thing I tried, I'll let you know how it works for me, is I have this dry spot. Um, you probably can't tell on camera, but like right here, I have a dry spot where my skin is really, really dry and really, really rough. And I have a hard, hardest time with that dry spot. So I'm going to try putting a little of this lip balm on that dry spot and rubbing it in like a few times a day and I'll let you know how that works for me and uh, that's about it I just wanted to um, tell you guys about these this product because they're vegan and they're super cute so maybe once I finish one of these I will open another one of them but um, I hope you like this review and thanks for watching and I apologize deeply if I offended anyone by doing a review of something that has uh, such naughty names. But I think the names are really cute and I think they'd be a great idea for um, breast cancer awareness or something like that. I think they'd be great for uh, gay and lesbian t uh, alliance type meeting or I'm sorry if you're offended by the names or if you're offended by me doing this review um, initial review and thoughts video but there are a lot of companies that come out with products with names that are naughty I mean I don't think NARS is vegan. In fact, I think NARS tests on animals. But, uh, for an example, I read somewhere I think that NARS tests on animals. So that's awful, but they're very expensive anyway. I wouldn't want to buy their products anyway, but yeah. Their product names are very, very sexual. So these guys aren't the only person that's done that. I mean, NARS, one of the most popular blushes you ever hear, NARS Orgasm, right? And NARS Deep Throat are like the two most popular ones they make. Yeah, those are very sexual names. Um, yeah. Anyway, 